Hi everyone, Adam here. Time for a quick movie review and today's movie is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. And this stars Zoe Margaret Coletti, Michael Garza, Dean Norris, Gil Bellows, and directed by Andre Overdahl. And one of the producers is Galmero Del Toro. And this is based on a book series from the 1980s, which I'll be honest, I haven't read. I knew of them, but I was kind of going in without knowing too much. I've heard other people talk about it on YouTube or done reviews for the movie. And the plot is set in 1968, starting off on Halloween night, when a group of teenagers uh, come across what is apparently an old haunted mansion, where a tragedy occurred years ago. They go in and find a book that a girl who used to live there who had died and started to write stories in a book. Yeah, so Stella, the main character, takes the book home and soon discovers that it starts to write stories by itself. I guess you could say the book has a ghostwriter. And it doesn't look like the stories are going to have a happy ending. Uh, the stories affect people around her, like her friends and a friend's family. That's pretty much the basic premise of the plot and the story. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll start off with the positives. The young cast are very likeable. The main girl, Stella, is an outsider, but still a likeable character, and the supporting cast all do pretty well. The young, most of them I've never heard of, but they do a pretty good job. And of course, you've got a veteran character actor like Dean Norris, who is who has a small but pretty decent role in the movie. There's some pretty decent special effects and some uh, interesting, uh, I guess you call them creature designs, as well. A uh, little bit, a bit of a little bit of CGI here and there, but there's a lot of that in movies nowadays. So, I mean, it is well made and well directed, and some. Decent cinematography. As for the negatives, it's... Even though there's a couple of writers, um, Marcus Dunstan and Patrick Melton, who wrote the later Saw sequels, um, don't expect any gore in this at all. This is obviously aimed at a younger demographic. Um, more like a teenage audience, or maybe even a little bit lower, because it is rated in America PG-13, uh, which is an M rating here. So there's no gore, and most of the violence is off screen, really. But maybe if you're a little bit, I think, yeah, so obviously it's aimed at the pre-teen or early teen market. Maybe that's why it really didn't really do much for me. And like I said, I've never read the books, so uh, maybe if you have to read the books, it might mean a bit more. I don't know how much they've adapted or changed it around, to be honest. Look, so I'll give it a five. Look, it has its moments. There's a few jump scares. Of course, it's a bloodless horror film. As always, this is just my opinion. Feel free to disagree. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'm Adam, and I'll see you again soon.